The crater roared back to life one year ago today, wowing the world with spectacular fountains and changing the terrain of the national park. Our Anthony Ferreira has the story. One second darkness, the next an explosion of lava lit up Haleamauma'u crater one year ago. What's followed has been episode after episode of high fountaining separated by pauses that often last for weeks. It's never been the same day twice since this eruption has began. This by far is the most amazing thing I've seen in my life in terms of, you know, Hawaiian volcanism. Two vents on the crater's southwest floor have spewed 53 billion gallons of lava in the last year. Built up a big wedge that's over 200 feet thick of lava on the surface of the lava lake. Never seen anything quite like that before. Episode 20 was the shortest, just four and a half hours, while episode three had the longest duration of eight and a half days. Episode 35 had the highest fountains, reaching 1,500 feet. That's roughly the height of the Eiffel Tower. But both HVO and the National Park Service agree on the most spectacular episode so far. This last one, episode 38, even if you were watching it on the live stream, it was truly astonishing. I think the last one was a pretty wow for everybody. That was the highest effusion rate, which is how much magma is coming through the vent at a given time. During the highest part of the high fountains, it was 1,000 to 1,200 cubic yards per second. So much power and lava, it buried one of HVO's cameras. If you saw the movie of the end of the V3 camera, you could see these glowing spatter bombs coming at you. Those were about three feet long. Scientists don't expect to see that equipment ever again. No, <laughs> it is under 50 feet of molten spatter, which all welded together into solid rock. Thanks to our excellent field engineers and our geology group who runs the cameras, we've got a brand new camera sitting out there. Each episode has also transformed the park's terrain with thick blankets of tephra. Part of the rim there on the behind the fountains is 140 feet high of that tephra now. Tephra easily disintegrates. Drive across it and you may get stuck but scientists have figured out a safe way to travel on foot. So we ended up buying snowshoes and those work great. The eruptions created a visitor boom. The Park Service has important advice for the crowds. Stay alive and to do that, you stay on trail, you stay out of closed areas and you stay away from cliff edges. Volcanoes deserve our respect. And so does the local culture, the Hawaiian people who come here to the park to practice their traditional practices. I would say give them space and um, be respectful of both the volcanoes and everybody else around you. And take your time. There are no signs the eruption will stop anytime soon. It has been a lot of work. <laughs> We're continuing to learn, but it is also just a blessing to be able to be here and, and witness this and be able to study these eruptions. Anthony Ferreira, Hawaii News Now.